Hey YouTube, um, Llama Chicken Poop here, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the uh, Illumini I icons for the Illumini theme for the iPod Touch and iPhone, for jailbroken of course. So what you're going to have to do is of course go into either Cydia or Rock. I use Rock because it's faster and I like it more, I don't know why, but... Anyway, you're going to have to go in there, search for Illumine, I-L-L-U-I-U-M-I-N-E, click search, download it, then you have to open WinSCP or whatever the heck else you use, I don't really know, I use like the first thing as I see, but you're going to open that, you're going to... Um, Go to Stash, Themes, Illumine, and then right in there, there should be a template document. You're going to copy that either into your documents or wherever you want to save it. And so once you've copied that in, you're going to have to find a picture of the app that you need to create. I already have one. It's called iBricks. It doesn't have one in the original Illumine theme. So what you're going to have to do is go up here. Open Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, alright, then you have to go to File, Open, then mine is right there, Template, Photoshop Image, click Open, and that's what you start off with. Now first thing you want to do is turn the background off here. Because if you do that, it's going to have like a gray box around your icon if you put it back on your iPod. Now you're going to want to open all of these little arrows that you see here. Just so you can get everything you need. Then you're going to want to take the App Store picture off and the white rays. So you basically have an icon looking just like that. Then, you're going to have to go to File open and find the picture that you've um, just downloaded if I can remember what this one was called um, there it is alright so that's the icon for it <coughs> click open Hmm. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Hang on a sec. Convert this. This is just another um, program you can use for picture editing. Yeah, save as. I'm gonna save as PNG. And save. Okay. Now let's try this. Alright, let's try this. There we go. Okay. So apparently the picture has to be a .png file. And then, if you want to make this a lot easier and save yourself a lot of time, just go up to this button up here and click on this button right here. That will put it so you can see both icons at once. Then what you're going to want to do is just take the layer that you see over here, click and hold, and just drag it over into the one with the icon. Now you're going to come up with that and you're going to think you've like completely fucked it all up. Truth is, all you really got to do is just take this, move it down one layer, I always have it, the first one, and then you'll see that it has made itself fit into the icon. So then you're going to have to go up to here, click the little mouse button, arrange it to how you want it, I think that's how I'm going to keep mine. Um, this program here can also go to an image and you can resize it. If you want to resize it so you can fit the whole picture into the icon, you're going to have to resize it to, uh, I believe it's 50 by 50 pixels. So do that if you want to make the whole picture fit in there. I sometimes do that for gra more graphical looking icons, but this one I'm just going to 
not do anything on it. Alright, so then, the next thing you want to do is fix the underglow on it. So I think for this one we'll do a gray underglow, or maybe even a green. Alright, let's stick with the green. So that's what the icon's going to look like. Then all you got to do is you can X this thing off right over here. You just have the original icon right there. Go File, Save As, and then Important. After have to come on here on Format, and you have to scroll down and click the PNG right there. And we're going to save this as I bricks and click save and just click OK and that's it and no then you have to take your iPod and go to settings Wi-Fi and I'm not going to let you see my IP address because that's just terrible. Okay, so you found your IP address. It's going to be right there. It says IP address. Alright, so then you're going to have to go open WinSCP. Uh, no. And if you don't have any of these saved already, you just go to new. And the host name is going to be your IP address. So, oops. All right. Username will always be root, and the password will always be Alpine. So, root Alpine. And just click enter, and it will search for it and just click yes and you're in your iPod go back here go to stash themes and I made my own theme it's a combination of Illumini and the Alit theme looks pretty cool but anyway I already made this one earlier so I can show you I resized it and fitted the whole picture in there it's right there right there so I'm just gonna cop or rename this to iBricks 2 click enter and then just drag it and drop straight into there click copy all right then you're gonna oh, I'm going to rename this one to 3 click enter and name this one just to iBricks and that is the one we just made. Alright, so now you can close this if you want. Doesn't really matter. Then you go into your winter board. Uh, I started making a space theme. I I might finish it. It looks okay, but just double tap one of them. And then just click the home button. try to keep this under 10 minutes because otherwise I have to start cutting shit out. Alright. So now if we navigate back to that page you can see that it is the icon that we have just made. So that is how you make an Illumini icon and you put it on your iPod. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them, of course, in the comments box below it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or if you have any trouble doing this, please feel free to message me on YouTube. Um, I would try to help you as fast as I can. And that's about it.